Do you want to know how I managed to study with minimal effort but achieve good grades? Of course you want to know, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. Then grab something to drink, relax and let me tell you how you can achieve the same results as me without having to sacrifice every minute of your life with studying, with worrying about your grades and enjoy the progress along. Let's talk about what most students do and what I did for a very long time myself. Don't be afraid if you identify yourself or experience similar things that we are going to talk in this video. Trust me, I'm also not perfect and I make many mistakes. Many students try hard and I mean really hard. When I say this, I immediately have some people in my mind and they are just study animals. Their whole day is based around studying, morning studying, noon studying, evening <laughs> again studying and sometimes throughout the night even. People really try to replace their sleep with studying sessions. Then they go to bed, sleep for around five, five to six hours let's say and then this whole circle of life of studying repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and sometimes the study cycle keeps spinning for a few weeks up to a couple months. Sounds like something you heard from me before? If you watched my video from two weeks ago where I told you my story about studying for 8 to 10 hours a day for a longer period of time, you know what this period of my life did to me. I had a burnout since then and until now I'm still having issues with concentrating for a longer period of time. This video isn't about my story and my problems, it's about how to maximize your study results in less time. Let's start with the first tip. Never ever have your cell phone close to you. This is probably my biggest mistake I made over the years and I see people make this mistake all the time. When your cell phone is in your reach, you are tempted to just grab over it and look at who messaged you or what is going on online or your favorite YouTuber just uploaded a video and it pops up on your screen and you better go watch this video. Please understand that your cell phone might be the biggest distraction there is. If I am not concentrated at studying, I catch myself all the time just grabbing my phone and seeing what's going on over here. And I get it, because sometimes things going on on your cell phone might be more interesting than studying the story of the ancient Greek for example. <laughs> so what can you do? For me there are two main options. The first option is you turn off your smartphone completely. The second option to hide your cell phone and turn off your internet connection. In this case you aren't tempted to just grab your phone and look at it because you either have to turn it on or you have to search it somewhere or go to the other room and put on the internet connection. And to make things clear here, if you are using a laptop as your study utility, please turn off your internet connection unless it is necessary for your study. This correlates with the thing I just said with your cell phone, but again, enabling your internet connection will lower the barrier of you just spontaneously going on to the internet. Second tip, creating a simple and brief schedule for how my day is gonna look like really helped me with my orientation throughout the day and with my discipline. If you have a to-do list, then you will feel to have the duty to do the things that are written on your list. For example, getting out of bed at 7 a.m. or review chapter 4 of the neuroscientific methods of medicine. What you are training yourself here is that by completing every task, you will have that good feeling that you achieved something and that you can tick off the task from your schedule. This will create a good feeling and a feeling of achievement because you know you completed the task and can move on to the next task. I know in the beginning it is sometimes hard to create such schedules and it's even harder to stick to them, but just try it out and leave some space for flexibility because sometimes things can change. So the third tip I'm gonna give you isn't really a tip, it's more like a motivation. Please don't go too hard on yourself, this tip is more a message for you personally. I know you want to nail that next exam and I know you're very ambitious about your goals, but let me tell you that however this next exam is gonna go, there will be a day after tomorrow, we are all gonna make it in the end. So don't make yourself crazy about some grades. I know it's very important to you and to imagine that your hard work eventually doesn't pay off at first, it's not the best feeling. But please try to understand that sometimes failure is the way to better things 
and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If you like this video, I would really appreciate a like or tell me what I can do better in my videos. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you at the next one.